Okay, y'all just tell me when to talk. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to call the Bullock City Board of Mayor and Alderman special call meeting to order Tuesday, January 26, 2021, 6 p.m. Uh, roll call, please, Sharon. Okay, get my papers out. Alderwoman Keith. Alderman Rawls. Here. Vice Mayor Harrington. Here. Alderman Ward. Alderman Bowling. Here. The next thing on the agenda is prayer by Vice Mayor Ray Harrington immediately following the Pledge of Allegiance. Let us pray. Lord, we come to you now for this meeting for the town of Bluff City. We thank you for everything that you do for us each and every day. Now be with us now as we do the work for the city of Bluff City and that we make the right decisions. In your son's name we pray. Amen. 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 Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The next thing on the agenda is citizens' comments, and we don't have any. Okay, and the next thing is discussion and action. The auditors report, um, Curtis Morrison. I'm going to try to keep this short and sweet. I know everybody's got a lot to do. And I really like that I can keep it short and sweet because I don't have a lot of findings in here. I've got one finding. So over the last few years, you went from several to one. And uh, I just kind of wanted to point that out. Progress is being made, and I can't say enough about Irene and Sharon. I'll, I'll get the books and records uh, in good shape. I'll Thank you. Start off with that. I'm trying to keep from fogging up my glasses. I apologize. I want to touch base on just a few things. Uh, uh, things like I've done this five times. This is actually my fourth time in two days. Um, oh, gosh. <laughs> so I'm getting. Uh, probably forgetting what, half of what I need to know. But if I was going to look at just a few pages to kind of summarize the year and kind of get familiar with what happens in the year, I would focus on the management's discussion and analysis, which begins on page six. I'm not going to hit all the numbers on there, uh, but as you can see, uh, it looks fairly consistent from year to year. Uh, with just some slight changes, most of them do to... Uh, Changes in OPEB and, and pension plans, which are kind of outside your control. So I did want to kind of point that out. But uh, year over year, uh, net position uh, change was 293 on the government line. And then I'm going to skip the government line and go straight to the fund balance, which is the way you're used to seeing it presented, uh, which begins on page 15. As you can see, your, your total assets are approximately 2.3 million. Of that, 1.6 million is in cash. Uh, your liabilities are negligible at 11,000. And uh, you'll see the deferred info of resources uh, that has got uh, 392,000 in deferred current property taxes. And um, then unavailable revenue, which is property taxes, which you have. Can't claim yet. Uh, they were paid ahead of time, which is not a very large number there. So you'll see at the end for the general fund, at the end of June 30, 2020, you're looking at 1.8 million in fund balances, with the majority of that unassigned, uh, which means you can use it for whatever you deem necessary and fit for the community. I'm going to skip over to page 17, where you can see the total revenue of 1.6 million and expenditures of 1.4 million. Uh, and it also will uh, tell you that you're, you're looking at 225,000 of uh, revenues over expenditures. Uh, then you have some transfers uh, from other funds, your sewer. Uh, to the general, from the general to the sewer. So your 
net change in fund balance for the general fund is $114,000. Uh, so I just kind of wanted to point out a few of those, which gets you to the $1.8 million over the years. Uh, on 19 is all the budget and amount. I can't tell you as far as the budget goes. We didn't have uh, many uh, overages or unders in any particular categories. Although I will say that uh, fines and court costs were budgeted at 587, it came out at 524,000, and of course we know that's because the uh, cameras were taken out. So just kind of give you an idea of, of what happened there. So if your total revenues were budgeted at 1.7 and it came in at 1.6, which is about 80,000 difference, and then if you're looking at your Expenditures, the, the good news is, for the most part, almost every expenditure category came in under budget, uh, which is uh, where, where, why you end up with a positive 114000 added to the net position. And as I mentioned before, I could take you through all the retirement plan and stuff like that, but that comes directly from the state. And uh, I can't think of anything else in here that really... Don't want to be confusing to anyone, but if you wanted to look at page 62, which is all the way at the back of the shelf, second page from the end, you will see a summary schedule of prior audit findings and what uh, and how they will handle. And you'll notice in here that they were all corrected but one, and that is the finding for bad debt on sewer. That is the only continuing one that you have. And I just thought, you know, that's all I've really had. I'm, like I said, I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. If you've got questions, I'll be glad to answer them, or at least attempt to answer them. Pretty well straightforward stuff. What about the money on the day? What was it? That, that is um, unpaid, water bill. unpaid water bills for many, 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 many years. Okay. Um, and the only way to get rid of them is if the board was to approve to write those off. You can do that. Um, and that finally can go away. Uh, and I, in fact, I would encourage you to do that. Now, one thing I would do is keep a record of what was wrote off. And if those same people ever come back trying to get service, you at least got a record. You don't have much money that involved? Eighty five thousand. It's it, yeah, it's like eighty five thousand. Okay. It, it looks big, but it's it's accumulated over a decade, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Twenty five years or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's several right now. It's more than one decade. Do y'all have any questions? No questions then. Thank you very much. Thank you, Irene. Oh, you're welcome. If you want to stay, you can. Doesn't matter. Okay. Oh. Okay then. Thanks again. We appreciate it. Okay, we're down to discussion action on public hearing on ordinance number 2021. Hmm? Vote on the accepting the audit. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm trying to go too fast. That's okay. Uh, who would like to make a motion to accept the audit? I'll make a motion to accept it. Do we have a second? I'll second. Take a vote, please, Sharon. <clears throat> Alderman Walls? Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington? Yes. Alderman Bowling. Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, next is discussion and action on public hearing on ordinance number 2021-001. Mr. Fry. An ordinance to amend ordinance 2020-004 known as appropriation ordinance for fiscal year ending June 30th, 2021. Whereas the Board of Mayor and Alderman deem it necessary to purchase the E3525 horsepower R-Series Bobcat Mini 
excavator for the health, safety, and welfare of the citizens of the town. And uh, contract price is $42,635.14. Whereas the board wishes to pay cash for this equipment. Be it therefore ordained by the Board of Mayor and Aldermen of the Town of Bluff City, Tennessee, that Ordinance 2020-004 as to line item 413, Water and Sewer Fund, be amended as follows. $1,012,915. Okay. I'll open the public hand. We don't have any comments. I'll close the public hearing. Does anyone want to make a motion? I'll make a motion to approve. So have a second. I'll second. Okay. Take a vote, please, John. Alderman Balls. Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Wall. Uh, Oli. Yes. Okay. And the next thing is a discussion and action approval from the board to um, – to get a credit card for the city not to exceed $5,000. Okay, this is where we have travel expenses. I said, this is where we have travel expenses, and then sometimes when uh, Alan needs to get uh, the uh, parts, he can find them online and get them quick. So uh, the only way to do it is have a credit card. And then on the travel expense, like bush booking the motels, uh, it's a whole lot easier with the credit card. They ha we have to have somebody's card to always hold them. It has to be usually Alan or mine. And uh, it'd be a whole lot easier with the credit card. Plus they can, instead of trying to send a check with them, we can do it on a credit card, and then I have them at, at the end of each month. I can reconcile it, and it's always paid each month. Do we have a particular bank that we want to work with? We're talking with regions okay. where we have the bank's accounts and all. Would it be similar to the Amex where the, we would pay off the balance monthly and there would be no interest? No, there won't be any interest because it will be paid every month. Yes, at regions. What would be the interest if we didn't pay it? If we didn't pay it? We don't want to think about not paying it. Right. It's according to how much you spend, too. Yeah. Right. When it how has no fees. Pay. Do what? I said, of course, according to how much money you spend, what your interest would be. No, right. it's not. If it's paid off every month, there's no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's not. He said it's not paid off every month. If it's not paid off, yeah. uh, she didn't. She was going to get back with me on that. Okay, I was just curious about that. Uh, we use a, my company. We we have a hundred purchase cards out at the company, and we we actually use Wells Fargo, which works for the guests. We get a two percent rebate. Consider them or not, but we find it a very effective tool for the things that you're talking about where we don't have direct suppliers. Now, as far as Alan buying things online, I really can't think of anything Alan would need to buy online with the direct suppliers that we have. There's some things that yeah, there if is. anyone didn't some need something bad, he can find it online instead yeah, of. It's cheaper. And the thing about price. it is there's still several vendors that don't want you to send them a check in 30 days. Oh, yeah. They want you to pay up front. Once we build build up, um, you know, once they know us and see that we have the money to make sure they're going to get their money. It's a different story. We've had some that we started out, you know, uh, that we didn't. Uh, we used Shines and Allen's credit cards. Oh, yeah. and, and that's a bad situation. Yes, it is. So, and. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. We actually talked to two different banks, and um, <coughs> Regions, of course, is the one that we deal with on pretty much everything. So it didn't take us hardly any time to get approved to do it, and, you know, we're not going to run over 5000 There's no way we're going to run over $5,000. And unless something drastic was to happen, there's no reason for us not to pay monthly. Oh, no. 
that's never been a fear. I just have experienced that part of the things mm-hmm. I mean. Yeah, I'm, I, know, I know you do, and I you appreciate know. it. And another thing is, I know I experienced this. I did today, matter of fact. We'll have a new supplier that we want to begin to use at one of our locations. And although we have impeccable credit and our DMV is one and one, that particular site needs to buy it today. And it may take me or my staff a few days to get the letter of credit exchanged right. and get everything all set mm-hmm. up with the EDI so we can pay it. And we may not be able to wait. So, I mean, I'm all about people. Yeah. But anything that we need to do in Allen's world, we need to always try to look for that direct vendor. Well, we do, but there's some and vendors sure out there that's... Absolutely. absolutely. We just don't okay. want to stay on P-cards because we'll pay refit. And they yeah. won't um, leave it two cards. Yeah. Uh, Irene will have one and I will have one. That way I'll purchase his own and we'll either go through her or me. That ain't straight up. Mm-hmm. It just helps so much, um, especially the traveling when they're going to seminars and all, when you have to travel. It's to book that, and then you have to sign, send a check with them. And it has to be, the credit card has to be in the name of the city, or you cannot get the tax-exempt taxes on the motels. You'd be surprised where there's like only one vendor that actually, they actually have to buy something uh, from that nobody else carries. Right. And, yeah. you know. I've got four places to find the cards I needed. I had to order it like that. Well, I'll make a motion to approve this. Do we have a second? I'll second that motion. Okay, thank you. Take a vote, please. Alderman Walls. Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowling. Yes. Okay. And the last thing is discussion, action, approval from, oh, I'm sorry, approval from, for the credit card. We just did that. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, immediately following, we'll adjourn, we'll adjourn the special call meeting. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Okay. Second. Okay. <laughs> So everybody agrees. Alderman Bulls. Yes. Vice Mayor Harrington. Yes. Alderman Bowley. Yes. What if I said no? <laughs> if you said no, we, we couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't.